Hello everybody, I'm Jimmy Fantastic and welcome to the PC Season 11 Playoff Brackets and Predictions. Right, so as you can see, I've just got to call these by number because you can't see my uh, you can't see my cursor. But this is the draw. Um, I've just done it, the names of the coaches, the amount of TV and their race because who cares what the fluffy names are, of the teams are. I don't care. So... Game number one, you've got Duhanian's 1710 Zons versus Ducky's 1950 Lizardmen. Got a back duck, got a back Ducky with a TV advantage, huge TV advantage. Even even you know even against Zons, D D I'm sure Ducky will have tackle mighty blow and will win that one. I say sure. You know th this is where I haven't looked at the teams yet, so I'm going to do a, a rough recap first, then then do a better recap at the end. Uh, game two, Cyber Knights 1870 Bretonians versus. Cyclops 1400 Dark Elves. That, that means the Dark Elves have obviously a lot of loners. So the Bretonians should be rowdy. They should have dirty players, should have tackles. So they sh the Bretonians should be able to win that one, I think. And then probably lose to Ducky in this little bracket here. So I uh, Ducky's my pick from the first four there. Next we've got Moneybag 1700 Norse versus Likes 1890 High Elves. 1890 High Elves live in the dream. They, they should be able to handle the Norse there, I think. Um, Andy Davos 2020 Kislev. Getting Kislev to 2020 is is quite the achievement. So they should they should demolish 1610 Undead. And they should really... Kislev pretty much do counter Elves at high TV. So I reckon Andy Davos versus Ducky could be... Uh, could be that the first quarter final there. Um, you know, I'm I'm using my cursor here. This isn't very good. Eliod 1620 Underworld versus Sifanero 1680 Vampire. A battle of the crap teams. Whoever wins there, I don't think anyone will care. <laughs> Lions 1810 Wood Elves should be able to beat Kemri, though they might take some 1810 Bob 152's Kemri. They should win that game, obviously, but will take some damage. And they should also beat Vampires or Underworld and take some damage. So I would say of that little group of four, I would back uh, Lions Wood Elves to come out of that. Um, next group of four, game number seven and eight. We've got Corleon XXXXXXX1750 Dwarves versus Diomlords 950 Halflings. I believe Diomlords the current champ, but still, Dwarves versus Halflings, you know, uh, Dwarves are going to absolutely murder them. Maybe maybe the Halflings might pull something out of the bag, obviously. Any, anything can happen in any game, given game of Blood Bowl, but I doubt it. Necros versus Amazons here. Horny Cricket, 1800 Necro. Skydancers, 1460 Amazons. I mean... Necros with a TV advantage, you'd imagine they win. If the Amazons somehow win, they're going to get murdered by Dwarves. And I reckon the Dwarves will beat the Necros as well. So I reckon Dwarves will win that little bracket. And then you're looking Dwarves versus Wood Elves. It'll be interesting. The Dwarves will try to murder the Wood Elves. Um, so I'm, I wouldn't be confident of seeing who would win that. Um, and even if the Wood Elves do win, you wouldn't fancy their chance of the next game, probably. Um, next up, we've got 9 and 10. Squirrel Masters 1100 Goblins, Good Luck versus Sirens 1850 Nurgle. <laughs> That's obvious. And the huge, this could have been the final, Crucifer's 1860 Chaos Dwarves versus Pupox 2000 Nurgle. I reckon the Nurgle should counter them because they've just got the extra strength. Um, you know, it'll come down to dice rolls, obviously. They've both got Claw Palm, but, but Nurgle have got the strength in the regen. And then they'll be playing the other Nurgle team in the next round. Uh, and obviously you've got to back the higher TV one without... Well, I don't know the teams or, or the records at this point. Um, 11 and 12, we've got 7, 1750 Chaos from Mr. Light against 1920 Elven Union. I would fancy the Elves to win this one, Toast Guy. Uh, 1920 elf, Elves, you know, that they've got the tools to win, haven't they? And, and while Chaos have got a lot of murder, they probably don't have sufficient tackle. And even if they do, they can still get... I mean, you know, outmaneuvered. So I'd fancy the elves to win that one. <laughs> Here we have Jimmy Fantastic's fifteen twenty ogres versus Crazy Ivan's sixteen twenty orcs. And um, this is actually an eleven man orc team. So out of the out of the five teams I could possibly beat of the thirty one, I worked it out. This is one of them. So there's a chance for me to win this. 
But um, I still think the Orcs will probably beat me. But then probably lose to... Well, they'll lose to the Chaos of the Elves. Probably the Elves. So I'd imagine the El the, the Proils would get through from that. And then they would be playing Pupox 2000 TV Nurgle. So I'd make the Nurgle a favourite there. Just because, the you know, the Chaos will... The Elves... Well, whoever wins... Well, the Elves will have taken damage against the Chaos. And then they'll have taken damage against the Orcs. So I reckon... I reckon Nurgle will get uh, get through that one there. And then we've got Vela Hoppy as 1910 Chaos Dwarves versus Debase as 1780 Orcs. Obviously, the Chaos must have Claw Palm, right? So must be the favourite, even though Orcs have the strength and the guard, probably. Uh, Mankis 1700 Woodies versus Yak Stairs 1660 Skaven. Again, it doesn't really matter who wins out of those two. I reckon they're going to fall to 1910 Chaos. So I reckon Chaos will win through in that little bracket of four. And then we've got Sid the Coach, 1850 Dwarves versus Young Nathan, 1780 Humans. Dwarves with the TV advantage. The uh, financial fair play rules working against Young Nathan here. He could have he could have scummed a wizard there to give him half a chance, but without that possibility, I think Dwarves all the way. Ne 1716 Necros for Wolfbark versus Coldy's 1490 High Elves. I mean, just the, on pure TV, you've got to give that to the Necros, haven't you? Necros versus Dwarves can go either way because of the claw and the, uh, you know, the, and the mass mighty blow and stuff. So maybe his Dwarves go through there. And uh, and then that'll be what? So so, so now if we look at the, the round three here, we're probably going to get um, Ducky versus Andy Davo. That'll be a very interesting one. If, now the thing is, Kislev basically hard counter... Um, Lizard men at high TV, so I, you know, you've got to back Andy Dave or really to get through that one. Next one, you've got Lions Wood Elves versus Colian's Dwarves. I mean, you would back the Wood Elves in a game, but you don't know how much damage they'll have taken. But let's say Wood Elves, Wood Elves versus Kislev. Kislev do counter Wood Elves somewhat, so K Andy Dave could definitely get the final here. I'm backing Pupok all the way on the other ones to get to the final. Um, and you should probably be playing some pro elves. The the last one is probably Velahopi as Chorfs versus Sid the Coach's Dwarves. Chorfs versus Nurgle. You've got to pass Nurgle. However, the Nurgle do have a really hard way. They're playing Claw Pom all you know, a couple of Claw Pom games. It's easy for them to get diced out of it. So Velahopi could get the final. And then a Bash team against a Kislev team. It could be Andy Davos year. It could be. Unbelievable, Jeff. Um Right, so let's get rid of this and actually see the real teams involved in the game. So, <laughs> the first one is Alligator Haters versus Beat of the Rising Sun. So now this, this comes the hard part of finding them in the game, which could take a while. Mm -hmm. I don't... Right, well look, I, here's Beat of the Rising Sun, this is Ducky's team. <laughs> um, Ducky's 1950-60k in the bank. Let's have, a, let's have a look at his record first, that's probably most important at the end of the day. Um, 28 8 4 very good record. It is Ducky, obviously, lizard men are really good. He's got a plus strength Crocs. Guard stand firm, block, really good crocs. Block stand firm, strength five, Saurus, really good Saurus. He's, he's got a mighty blow tackler. And he's also got a break tackle, frenzy tackler. So he's, he's got the tackle to deal with uh, the Zons there a little bit. Mighty blow and guard, block guard, you know, five with block. <clears throat> Minus movement on him sucks a bit. Rookie sucks a bit. He does have quite a one turning skink there with movement nine, blodge, sure hands, really good skink. Though not agility four, so... He is going to be at the whims of the dice a little bit. Um, three rerolls. Yep. Right. Try. I can't find these Amazons here. This is. Ah, here they are. Right. So if we look at seventeen ten, so we'll have two forty, won't he? Plus potentially forty more. Twenty three one. Outstanding record. And uh, though it is with Amazons, so not really surprising. Wow, what a crazy team he's got. <laughs> Three Agility 4 and an Agility 5. This is like a cross between an Amazon team and a Dark Elf team. This is this is crazy. And, uh, and he's got guard. He's got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 guard. So he's got, 
He's, got, <laughs> he's rolled doubles on both his catches for guard. Two dirty players. 12 players. So he might buy more players rather than... Um, you know, rather than use the inducements, but that is a that is a crazy team, isn't it? It's a crazy team having the agility five and the agility the agility four players. Um, only on they're lacking mighty blow. I would say you would expect probably more more players and uh, more mighty blow. Really, so they're they're lacking in mighty blow. They they do have a panning on mighty blow though. Who he could tackle, jump up, could slaughter skinks. You never know, but. I'd still back Ducky in this one, just because it's Ducky, <laughs> basically. Um, <laughs> right, here we are, the real praise of Sun versus Calistra, but this is Bretts versus uh, Dark Elves, isn't it? 1870 Bretts. Um, here he is. Oh, I should have done the stats. Well, because the, the stats is the most important thing, isn't it? Who cares if they've got a really great team if they can't play very well? 1964 isn't that good a record, but it is Brett's. So we'll forgive him of that. He's got a plus... All blodge is, uh, is blitzers. That's a good sign. A couple of sidesteppers. He's got a frenzy. Strength 4, edge 4, 1. Very good. Two star player points. He probably should have played one more game to uh, to skill him up before the tournament, shouldn't he? Only one tackle. Oh, he's got a wrestle tackle mighty blow there. A couple of dodge on them. So he's, he's. It's not a bad Brett team. One dirty player, fourteen men total. He's lacking mighty blow though massively, isn't he? He's only got one mighty blow. Doesn't have any piling on. So yeah, I think it's probably not good for its TV actually. Uh, three re rolls. Hmm. He does have a, a lineman called Herb Derp. So I like that. He, gets, he certainly gets he certainly gets bonus points for that. Um, however, the the dark elf team he's playing is uh, is the ruined one, isn't it? Yeah, Cyclops here. Twenty three one five, decent record. Um, movement eight blitzer with strip, fair enough. Blood step tackle. He's got two tackle. And he's got is the Bretts have got six blodge, haven't they? And uh, he's got one, two, four blodge. So the Bretts are just out blodging the elves. I think the elves don't really have a prayer here. So um, yeah, I'm happy. I was happy with my initial prediction there of of, of the Bretts. The Bretts should definitely take that one. Um, Ymir's revenge versus Ellis. Okay. And. That is Moneybags Norse, yeah. 1700. Mighty Blow piling on. Ulf Werner. Mighty Blow guard Ulf Werner. Miss next game. Silly of him. Silly of him to keep the miss next game. Um, before the finals. I think he should have he think he should have got rid of that one. If he could have done, he might not have been able to get out of it, but um if he could have got rid of that, it would have been a lot better, wouldn't it? Block mighty blow yeti. That's that's really good, isn't it? Um, so yeah, both both zerkers are dodge pom, one tackle and pro. So he's but then one is missed next game. But still thirteen men. It's uh, only one dirty player. Decent ball carry with blood shoe hand sidestep, tackle movement eight. That's not a bad team, is it? That's not a bad team. Twenty seven seven six. Uh, that's break tackle not piling on. I'm feeling reliably informed by VIP by case. It is indeed break tackle. So that probably makes him better than piling on, actually, doesn't it? I've, and I've seen the piling on here, and I've just called that one wrong. Never mind. But yeah, break tackle. Yeah, that's that's a, that is a decent Norse team. And uh, what is he against here? Oh, it's the 1890. This is an interesting team, isn't it? This 1890. High elves, let's see what they look like. They've got 20k bloat there from the cash. They've got a they've got a throwing thrower, which I'm never a fan of. But I guess it's only accurate. The rest is sure hands dodge. I'd just rather have block. Strength four. Sidestep frenzy blitzer, I like that. Edge five with strip and leap and tackle. I like that as well. Catcher with just guard, catcher with blood. With just block guard, isn't it? Oh, no, no, they're, they're all dodge. Okay, so dodge guard, 
Lodge Guard, Wrestle Tackle, Dodge. Yeah. 13 men. They're only 12 for the first round. That's not that's not a bad team. And that's 80 90 with a miss next game, so they, they can go back. They can go up to 2040, can't they, or something. So, that's a pretty nice uh, high elf team, but the uh, the Norse was a nice team as well, wasn't it? The Norse team, good record considering high elves are so bad early. But it's a rowdy, it's a rowdy, uh, rowdy Norse team. The Norse team may well cause some damage in that match. Uh, but I'm, I'm still happy with seeing them. We've got Boing Boing Splat versus Yesteryear Yobs. I know the Boing Boing Splat is 2020. Uh, but he's, the, the Norse have a sure hands, don't they? 2020 Kislev. Living the dream of, of getting Kislev to, to high TV. And you see, the weakness of Kislev is all of their armor 8 is unprotected. But now he's, it, it looks like a real team because he's got wrestle on loads of them, block on loads of them. He's got a blodge stepper. Lacking sure hands, isn't he? He is lacking sure hands. But I guess this catcher could get it pretty quickly if it needs it. You could also skill up this blitzer as well. An arch four for the two plus leaps. Very nice. Pom tackle frenzy to cause some pain. Blodge step guard. Very nice. <laughs> this this is piling on on the on the, on the bear, isn't it? <laughs> uh, it's it's okay, isn't it? It can do some stuff, but yeah, strip wrestle tackles good, and a dirty player obviously is good, and fourteen men. So that is that is pretty good team now. To be you know that's a really good, the record isn't that exciting, but it is Kislev, and they really do struggle low TV. So fair fair play to him on that front. And uh, I've already re forgotten. Aha, it's this undead team. A 16-10 undead team. I mean, I don't give them much chance, but he doesn't have piling on Mighty Blow. He does have a strength 4 white and a strength 4 goo with sure hands, so at least he's not going to get stripped. And strength 4 actually counters the leaps in a little bit. Um, and with so much inducement money, he might get... You know, he might get something. We're obviously going to get a wizard. He could get a set deck or something as well, couldn't he? Strip, strip ball. <laughs> but more strength, isn't he? He's, he's certainly got more strength. And he's got a couple of guards there. Um, one tackler. I don't fancy his chances. But, you know, you never know. He might get some He might get some damage in. and He, he could win. A anyone can win any game. But uh, I didn't even notice the two block mummies. But... Yeah, it's, it's okay, but I mean, everyone's got block at this TV anyway, so it just makes them more reliable blockers, doesn't it? They, they, it's not getting them additional knockdowns, it's just making them more reliable options. If only they could talk versus just a nibble. Okay. Um, if only they could talk, it's Underworld Denizens. 16.65. Underworld are crap, so that isn't so bad. <laughs> he does have a mighty blow claw, but no piling on. Feels bad, man. Block claw troll. Uh, he's made his thrower into some kind of strange <laughs> pseudo agility four man, hasn't he? Uh, yeah, he's basically played three skills there <laughs> to make him agility four. I'm not sure I'm a fan of that, but there you go. Strength four Lino, nah, no, I don't like this. I don't like this team. He's got so he's got quite a few two heads goblins, but they don't seem a great team. And uh, where who are they? Who are they playing again? <laughs> I've already forgotten. Oh, vampires! Isn't it just a nibble? And he's got a very nice vampire there. Plus two movement and plus agility. Blodge. A, a tackle pom with block is very nice, isn't it? And two blodges, one with pro. So it's pretty min max. This isn't actually that bad. At first, you're like 1680 vampires is, is crap. But actually, he's got a dirty player. He's got, he's got some block and some wrestle and a kick. And... The vamps that he's got can do that. I mean, this is a game winner by himself, isn't he? He's unbelievable, especially with a wizard. A wizard and two other people to gaze for him. And he's got Pom to do some damage. So he could actually do surprisingly well. Although his record is uh, is very poor. 
I mean, it's not very poor. You know, when I'm talk, when I'm saying very poor, I'm talking from a qualifying for the Champions Ladder finals. It's not that good, but vampires are very, very poor early on. Um, so, you know, we can forgive him that record there. Obviously, for vamps, it's a good record. Otherwise, he wouldn't be in. <laughs> um, Superman's versus Big Mummies. I think one of these has left, and this has left the competition, and this is why it's admin's call. So I don't know who's left. So I don't know. Um, <laughs> I don't actually know which which one of these one of these will just be automatically losing. I guess. Um, Superman's is Wood Elves, and the other ones are undead, aren't they? So. No, oh, I misclicked. Misclicked. I've got big mummies. Yeah, I'm not sure. So this one just won't be a game, but you know, who knows what's going to be in. Oh, big mummies is Kemri. Oh, I was wrong. 23 6. That's okay. Kemri are pretty bad. He's got an armor hit. <laughs> AV busted. Block mighty blow. Plus strength tomb guardian. Plus a V Tomb Guardian with Block Mighty Blow. A Garda. A plus strength, plus edge. Dodge. Blitz Raw. That's interesting, isn't it? A Throw Raw. Bludge. Tackle Show Hands. Plus strength, Skeleton. Only 11 players, though. Maybe he's the one who pulled out because he's like, what's the point in wasting my time versus these Wood Elves? I could imagine. I could imagine that. <laughs> that is what happened there. And Superman's is Lions. This is actually one of my favourites to get there. Not registered in the league. Is he the one that's pulled out? Yeah. Oh, that throws a cat amongst the pigeons. It looks like he's the one who's left. Lions. Looks like he's not going to be taking part with only 11 players for an 18 10 Wood Elf team. Movement 9 Dancer with Bludge Step. A movement. An Agility 5 Dancer with Strip and Stuff. Catcher with agility six, but only movement seven. <laughs> Strength four wrestles. Uh, you know, this isn't a bad team, but yeah, it looks like he's left. So it looks like he'll be losing for sure. Interesting. Um, so yeah, so I guess the Kemri are going to win that one then. And this is going to be a really bad team, get to the quarterfinals. <laughs> so that's interesting. Uh, and now what's this? That's that's Corleone's team versus Rembers. Okay. Let's have a look. So Colian's Dwarves. He has a record of 23-5-1. Outstanding record. You know, getting wins with Dwarves is pretty tough. Oh, he's only got 11. But he does have money in the bank, so he couldn't go to 12. But this is a weakness of his. He's actually min-maxed. The 17-50 and he's min-maxed. Two re-rolls. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, six mighty blow and three mighty blow piling on. <laughs> and his runner is strength four bludge. <laughs> um, yeah, and he's a strength four, strength four in his troll slayer. I mean, that is a hell of a team, isn't it? Ten guard as well. <laughs> that is a hell of a team. I think it would be a lot better with two reserves. But he's got the money to buy two reserves anyway. Uh, maybe he's a, a reserve runner, so he can. He's got a two-turn option. All right, he hasn't even got blitzers there, has he? They're all long beards, so he's only got one runner. Is the lone agility three player? Um, so yeah, maybe he should buy like a blitzer and a runner or something. And um, he could afford both. Maybe he should buy those as reserves to, to do something if he actually has to uh, has to play the ball a bit. And obviously, very susceptible to losing to a claw team with only eleven players there. Although. The 11 players are really, really, really good. And uh, he's up against the halflings. He could lose against the halflings because he's only got 11 players. If these halflings get, you know, a 3 tree LOS, which they will have because they'll be inducing deep root. Um, movement 3 tree is good. The guard tree is okay. A couple of block flings and agility 4 1 for the one turn. He's got a dirty player. Sneaky get dirty player. So, I mean, you know, if he gets three mighty blow hits in off the LOS, all the guard in the world ain't going to save you when you've got two strength six and one strength seven blocking on the LOS. Um, he could actually win the toss and do something. Only one reroll because he's relying on the chef every game, obviously. He's going to get the chef and deep root and other things. So, that actually, 
Yeah, you know, you can get the wizard as well. He can he can just bolt that he can bolt that runner. Agility four can run in, scoop it up. He's actually got options. Unbelievably, a nineteen fifty halfling team actually has chances against seventeen fifty. Uh, seventeen fifty thing. He's nine two zero. He qualified with, which is an outstanding record. <laughs> so fair play. The the champ could could win that uh, could win that first round matchup. The worst must, the worst the worst possible matchup. The fact he's only got eleven dwarves though, but he could buy more. But then even if he does. He goes to higher TV and gives the halflings even more inducements. Necrolicious versus Fantas in the Mist. This is Necro versus Zons, isn't it? Horny Cricket. I think he was top. I think he was top of the uh, ladder. 28-2-1. Unbelievable record. So I actually discounted him as, as beating the dwarves, but now I don't because I had the dwarves will probably take a lot of pain against the halflings, even if they do win. Um, agility 4, Mighty Blow, Blodge, Tackle, pretty good. Strength 4, Mighty Blow, unbelievable. Shame he couldn't get block, but I guess it was a late replacement. Wow, rookie flesh golems. He must have got banged on by some of the claw teams there in the ladder. Not outstanding whites. Ghoul, Strength 4, Sure Hands, Blodge Step, Fend. Pretty pretty nice ghoul to carry him through some of the elf matchups there. And a dirty player. So it, his team isn't that exciting, really. Um, I guess he must have taken a Werewolf dead recently. Though this has got great potential, obviously, too. One great Werewolf and one with great potential Werewolf. So I, 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 I don't like the Rookie Flesh Golems. I, I don't like the lack of guard against real teams. I mean, it will crush... It will probably crush what's put in front of it from the uh, for the first few rounds, um, and obviously next up is they're playing they're playing Zons, aren't they? Yeah, yeah, they are. And and he he was team number one overall on the record. Yeah, twenty eight two one. So he had an amazing record. So obviously he knows how to play, which is most important. Um, twenty four three three is a very good record, but it is Amazon's. So uh, <laughs> you've got to temper that with with the fact that he's on easy mode. Um, this looks like only 11 players, but he's got money to bet a couple more. Plus, he'll have inducements, so he could get, like, you know, dirty player, line women, or whatever. A couple of mighty blow, edge four, pom, tackle. Lacking guard, definitely, especially with this miss next game. Agility four, sure hands. Like, it's it's a nice, it's a nice Zon team for 1460. The problem is it's 1460. Um... So, yeah, that's, I think he's he's probably not going to have what it takes to beat the Necro. So mostly, mostly the predictions pre pre looking at teams were right. The only thing was the uh, Lions leaving, and actually the Necro looking, the Dwarves not nearly looking as fearsome as I thought they were due to only having eleven players. He can go up to thirteen though. So if he goes up to thirteen, maybe he's less likely, and he gets two more agility three players, he's less likely to hit the banana skin on the. Uh, on the halflings there. Right, Fire and Fury versus Golden Rot. Where is Fire and Fury? Goblins. 1100 goblins. Oh man. <laughs> He's got one troll. <laughs> I guess he can induce the other one. <laughs> he went pro instead of block. Alright, I'm done. <laughs> Ten two four, and he's got a, a block fend goblin and a block. Go I I don't like this team. I'm gonna I'm gonna stop looking at that, and, <laughs> and instead go to golden rod who are gonna absolutely ruin them. And uh, it is Siren with his Nurgle forty three seven. I mean that is a good record for Nurgle. Uh, and he's got a guard beast. Another beast, really. Strength 5. Block guard, Nurgle warrior. Tentacles, very nice. Block claw mighty blow guard. Block claw mighty blow guard. Really nice warriors, apart from this dead one. Claw pom goat, with a niggle by the looks of that. Uh, movement, blood sure hands. Very nice. Only three pestigors total, though. And for the next game, how many? Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven players. 
and he can't buy any more. So actually, he might, he might, he might not even, he might not even when he's got eleven players against a crazy goblin team. Anything could happen. And the goblin team gets, gets the uh, gets the coin toss there, and and you know they can have what they could have Ripper, Ripper and a uh, and a uh, they could have like three trolls for this game. Ripper and a and a Merc troll. They could have three trolls. <laughs> they could just cause some cars. And uh yeah. Foul the claw palm. He's only got eleven men. That that is horrible only having eleven men at eighteen fifty, isn't it? I really don't like that. So that that's that's a, he's in a scary place being eighteen fifty with only eleven men. Um okay, try to press the right buttons. How to make a smoothie versus Um <laughs> So if we have a look here, where are they? Can't <laughs> is Pupox and Nurgle. They are a terrifying team. Two thousand TV. Thirty-two nine five again. Really good record with uh with Nurgle. He's got twelve. But he can go up to 13 or 14, so I like that he's got more in the bank. He does have a couple of niggles. Oh no, a niggle and an art minus armor. Two strength five warriors. Block guard. Guard on all four, that's good. Some claw, some mighty blow. He doesn't have a claw pom though. That's that's interesting. So the lack of a claw pom might hurt him in the uh in the uh other bash game. Stand firm, guard, grab. Not really exciting beast. You've got to click on him because he's got so many skills <laughs> to see what he has. Uh, a kind of an okay pseudo agility four bludge sure hands carrier. Like it's not a bad ball carrier, but nothing exciting. Strength four wrestle frenzy is pretty cool. Two dirty players is cool, but uh, the lack of the piling on may may hurt him. Indeed, where where is Christopher here? Maybe he's in the first one. Here we are, Christopher. The uh, Champs Ladder Playoffs uh, main mainstay, really, isn't he, Christopher? Here, he's got Claw Pom, but only one. But he's Strength Four. Wow, what a what a player! Strength Four Claw Pom, outrageous. Claw and another Claw Pom. So he's got two Claw Pom, as opposed to none for the Nurgle. So while I favoured the Nurgle. Maybe not. He's got he's got five guards here, and he's he's. It's just the crucial thing is two piling on to none. You know, it's it's going to come down to the dice. Obviously, who wins the who wins the coin toss, etc. He's got twelve players, can only go up to thirteen. So the fact that Nurgle can go to fourteen players with with quite a few regens, is ball carrier bare bones against the agility teams. The only blocks your hands there. Uh, the bulls blodge break tackle, uh, tackles not bad. Frenzy break tackle, tackle mighty blow. Pretty. I mean, he's got he's got nice balls, but not nothing, nothing earth shattering there. This player though is is outstanding. I don't like guard here. <laughs> uh, sorry, not, obviously I like guard. I don't like grab instead of another piling on. I would have just taken more piling on. You never know. He's ten points away. He might get claw, or might have got claw if he'd carried on playing. And thirty-seven seven four. Very good record. But wow, interesting. Interesting, uh, interesting that the that neither Nurgle team is as strong as I thought they were. There actually, right? Drax Wall Thunderers versus Disco Dans. I know that Disco Dans are here. <laughs> this is Toast Guy Pro. Oh yeah, 1920 Pro Elves. That's interesting, isn't it? They're all called Dan. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, bludge step, tackle, bludge step, tackle, mighty blow, very good. Bludge, guard, movement. Rodge, edge five, strip. Thrower with dodge and some throwing skills, bleh. Not your sure hands, crucially. Um, catcher with movement, bludge, some dodge. 
it's not actually as terrifying as I thought it would be at 1920. <laughs> but it is uh, it is 13 players, isn't it? Which is which is good. You need that against the and full bank as well. 19-3-0, brilliant record, super record. So obviously knows what he's doing. So that that obviously makes up for. I mean, it's, I don't think it's that exciting. He's got everything he needs, though, I guess. He does have the outstanding sack option there. Doesn't have a leap for him, though. But Wrestle Strip and Agility 5 is obviously good, and Mighty Blow. I mean, it is a good team, don't get me wrong. It's, it is 1920, it is a good team, but it's. And there's more players, yeah, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. The main thing is the great record, though, isn't it? Uh, Mr. Light 1750. Chaos, maybe. May just tear through his team because I know he's got lots of claw. <laughs> claw Pom, Claw Mighty Blow, Claw Mighty Blow Tackle. Uh, one, two, three tackles total, three warriors total. A sure, a sure hands ball carrier with only extra arms. Um, two racklers. Mm, no, nah, I don't. I don't fancy his chances here. The claws are obviously not really mattering against the uh, proils, only against uh, only against the blitzers. And he's only got 12 players. I mean, he will get some inducements, but 23-5-3. Uh, pretty good. I think he was top chaos, wasn't he? I've got a feeling he was top chaos, and I was second. But, yeah, there is that. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I reckon, I reckon the, uh, the Proyles will do the job there. <laughs> Next up, <laughs> Pro Tips Ogres versus I Like Bones. Um, I, I like I like this Org team. This is one of the few teams I could probably beat in the playoffs. Um, I don't know how good the coach is or the record. 22-3-3, so he's, he's actually got a really good record. But he's got, he's got three stat downs. He's got two tackle. I mean, he's got a jump up. Tackle Pommer, which is obviously clearly absolutely terrifying for me. He's got four, five guards. Um, yeah, he's got some blodge. He's got two level ups waiting. He's got a, he's got a humorous, uh, a humorous thrower, which <laughs> there's nothing more humorous than an orc thrower. But the the crucial thing is he's only got eleven players. Now he, he could go up to thirteen, and he might do. He might go. He might go up to quite a lot more TV actually, but I don't think he should be worried about ogres. So hopefully he won't be. He he won't be worried about ogres. But yeah, obviously, clearly he's he's a good coach to have such a good record. Um, and <laughs> he's against Pro Tips Ogres, which is Jimmy Fantastic. They're the best team since sliced bread, of course. Um, <laughs> four block ogres is is outrageous. <laughs> Three guards there. This is missed next game. That was silly of me. I should have played a game, so it wasn't missed next game, shouldn't I? Ah. Oh. oh, why didn't I do that? I should have played another game, so it wasn't missed next game. Ah, I kind of stopped thinking about the ladder. Well, I was thinking about sacking him anyway. But I probably should have played an extra game to get him back from that. Ah, but then also, I wanted to be able to select my uh, skill for Thor. He'll probably go stand firm. Uh, but yeah, I probably should have played the game to get him back. But then he is armor four. Maybe I'll just sack him. But I should have thought about that before the end of the season. And um, yeah, fifteen eight six. That's a pretty good record for Ogres, in my opinion. But yeah, look, Ogres are going to struggle to beat anyone. So even though I identified um, that team as one of the teams I could beat, I still probably won't. <laughs> um, Right, mighty mighty bull cooks versus. Yeah, well done. Thanks for that, debaser. <laughs> Thanks for that, debaser. All right. So debaser's team here has one, two, three, four, five, six guard, a movement eight blitzer, with sure hands. One pom, lacking mighty blow overall. Only three mighty blows. Uh, well, two other mighty blows. Dirty player though, 12 players. 260. So his, his team's actually only 1670. Uh, so it's actually very TV efficient, his team. Um, though, of course, he doesn't have the development on the Black Orcs that he'd probably want. Does he only have three Black Orcs as well? No, he's got four Black Orcs. But, yeah, they're not very well developed, are they, the Black Orcs? And his record, 
really good. 27.33. So, wow, that's that's interesting, isn't it? And who's he against? I've al I've already literally forgotten. Um, I've got a feeling it, it was against Chaos Dwarves. Uh oh. I've died. I've looked at too many teams here. Oh, it was Vela Hoppiers, wasn't it? Vela Hoppiers, Chaos Dwarves. Cooking Amazons. Okay. 1910. He's 14 players. Two Skilps pending. Movement 7, Edge 4, Block Shoe Hands. Really good carrier. Claw Mighty Blow. No Claw Pom. Only one Claw on the whole team. This might be a Claw that's pending. You never know. Obviously, he'll take claw against orcs. So, yeah, he's, he's got stand firm. He's, he's got shown levels of stand firm there. Four stand firm. Only four guard. So, he, he's actually going to struggle. I, I, I actually uh, I actually picked him as choice against orcs. But seeing as the orcs are actually so TV efficient, they're actually 110 less than what they were. So, is. Bulls are un unspectacular, especially this agility one. Movement three here. This is. He's got a good ball carrier. And he's got a claw. And that's about all. So I'd fancy him more against an agility team, really. 29.63, very good record. But no, it doesn't look very scary for 1910. So I reckon there could definitely be a win on the cards there for Debaser. Oh, I keep clicking wrong buttons. So we've got another Wood Elf team. Versus Pelados. I've got a feeling Pelados are on the last page. Yeah. This is Skaven here. I haven't, even, I haven't even looked at this Skaven team here. He's got money in the bank, so he's not actually that high. 21 9 1. Very good, only losing one game with Skaven, isn't it? He must have a natural one turner. Doesn't. He's only got two gutters. <laughs> <laughs> he's got two gutter runners. <laughs> I guess he's going to buy a rookie. A roger with claw, juggernaut, break tackle, <laughs> thick skull and guard. <laughs> what? <laughs> Block, tackle, tail, storm vermin. <laughs> what? Tackle, guard, minus a, minus agility, storm vermin. <laughs> Strong arm thrower? <laughs> what the hell is this? Um, okay, well, congrats, congrats to him going 2191 with the, with the, <laughs> with the crazy skills he's taken. He could have just had the other two gut runners die before then. Um, and he's up against another Wood Elf team, which I don't know where they are. Let's let's have a an in depth look for the Wood Elves. I'm picking the Wood Elves for this game then, without without looking at the Wood Elves. <laughs> I guess Skaven just won by being overpowered, yeah. I mean, Skaven are obviously an unbelievably good team. Oh, and he's got two journeymen, so he's actually 1840. So the Skaven are actually 1600 or 1590, and the... Uh, the Wood Elves are actually 1840, but with only 11 players, they could get, they could just lose players and, uh, you know, against a wizard, they could come unstuck. Wow. <laughs> Strength 4, Agility 5, Blodger Lino. Agility 5, Thrower. Movement 9, Catcher. Strength 4, War Dancer. Movement 9, War Dancer. Strip. Tackle set. Yeah, I mean... It's a pretty nice team. The only problem is he's only got... He's only got 9 players. <laughs> he's only got 11. So, he can absolutely... He can absolutely lose any game with only 11 elves. You know, starting with 11 elves puts him on... You know, he can just get mass removals. He doesn't have sidestep on that movement. He does have sidestep on this movement time, so he's got a very... Well, sidestep on here and sprint on here, so I guess... It's not a super reliable one turn. He's going to need, He's going to need like... One push with him. Um... But or two with him, I mean, it might actually. I guess you're gonna go for this one at one turn. So he, he's got a pretty good one turn, but you would rather have a catcher with, you know, nine speed and sidestep at least. But the guard is obviously really good. Uh, but yeah, it's not. It's not that. It's not that crazy. Wood Elf team, is it? 
25-1 though. Very good, very good record. Um, you know, even though it's Wood Elves. <laughs> so you'd expect a very good record for Wood Elves. That's an interesting one, isn't it? So, But I think whoever wins out of those is probably going to lose to the Orcs or the uh, Chorfs, whoever wins out of there. Which now I'm favouring the Orcs more, actually, with the inducements. Hold the Dwarf versus... Is this how it ends? This is Dwarves versus Humans, isn't it? Here's young Nathan's Humans. Oh, he's actually not screwed by the uh, financial fair play because he doesn't have the money for anything anyway. He does have four guard and one, two, three, four mighty blow and a piling on mighty blow. A tackle or a stripper, a strength four liner with guard. Okay. Movement nine sidestepper, catcher, pretty good. Agility five thrower. That's a pretty nice team, 13 players as well. It's unfortunate for him that he got dwarves first round, isn't it? Because, <laughs> you know, to win against dwarves, 21 6 3, that's a good record for humans. Um, for humans to win against dwarves, he's he's going to have to get lucky because he's not going to have the wizard. So, yeah. He's, he's, he is going to struggle. He's got a lot of unskilled liners. He doesn't have a dirty player. He's, it, Blodge, it's it's not it's a pretty decent team, but it, he's, he's unlucky coming up against dwarves, isn't he, really, I think. I would fancy a, a, any dwarf team to beat that. Let's see what he is facing. Nathan's eight years old. Is he even allowed to win the money? <laughs> I don't want to, I don't want to begrudge him it, but um, <laughs> I wonder if that's even allowed. Uh, well, this is looking pretty good, actually, isn't it? Hold the dwarf. Hold off. Let's see what he's done there. That's a lot of guard, isn't it? Some blodge. Two poms on his blitzers. I don't really like pom on the blitzers because I don't want to put my agility three guys on the ground. Obviously, pom on the... Uh, Troll Slayers is really... He went tackle on the Troll Slayers. I'd rather go piling on on the, on the Troll Slayers and tackle on the Blitzers, to be honest. Um, you've got... You know, because the Troll Slayers frenzy is a poor man's tackle anyway. And I don't know. I just kind of want these standing and doing stuff. Strength 4 one's really good. Blodge is really good. Movement 7, Blodge is really good as well. So, yeah, this is actually 12 players. Plenty of bang. This is a pretty good Dwarf team. And 22-7-2, good record as well. So, wow, yeah, that's a, that's a pretty good Dwarf team there, I would say. So, yeah, I reckon young Nathan just got unlucky. Um, I like how I just keep clicking on anything but the schedule. I think he just got unlucky there to have that Dwarf. I, I don't know how he'll win. I mean, maybe he can get a maybe he can get a one-turner and, and win that way. Now we're only left with Ugly Stick versus Helven Delights. Helven Delights, obviously High Elves. And the 1490, and he actually doesn't have a team full of loners. He does have 11 players at 1490. Well, he's gonna get he's gonna get wizards, and he's got the bare bones of what he needs. Sure hands, blodge, blodge and rog, a mighty blow guy. He's got the bare bones of what he needs, but obviously he'd like stats. He'd like guard. He'd like strip ball. Um, but he's got the absolute, wait a minute, that's 10 players, he's got one journeyman. He's got the absolute bare minimum of what he needs there to, to be a competitive force in the playoffs. 19-1-1, that's a hellish record. That is a hellish record. You can't you can't complain about a 91-1 record, so obviously he's good at Blood Bowl. Um, and he, he's got the bare bones of what he takes. What what it would take to uh, to win a game there. He is up against seventeen sixty necro though, which is actually only seventeen hundred necro because he's got extra money in the bank there, blotting up. Obviously, that, that that's a good strategy in the playoffs. You know, to have this money and then you can choose whether to wiggle your roster to, you know, with inducements and stuff. Unexciting werewolves. Blood step tackle block tackle. I would have gone sidestep on this one, but I see why he did it. Bet White's guard, mighty blow, okay. Bet better flesh golems than the other necro team. Block guard on your fleshies, I like. Four guard total, two dirty players. Really good, really good ghoul there. 
strength four, blood step, show hands, really nice goal. So I mean, that's going to be a weapon against the uh, and two tackles against the elves and two dirty players against the elves. This is a pretty nice team, especially for only seventeen hundred TV. And what's his record? Twenty one five two. Pretty good. So um, yeah, he does only have the one goal, but he could buy another goal, couldn't he, with this money? So you you, you don't know what he's going to do, how he's going to wiggle it, how he's going to work out, what inducements he's going to give away. So there's going to be an interesting little battle there. But yeah, if that goal gets hit by a lightning bolt, he's in a world of hurt. So he might get a rookie a rookie goal just to carry the carry the ball to get hit by the lightning bolt. Oh yeah, three tackle because this guy has tackle as well. Yeah, but I, I meant two tackle on the way walls is what is what I meant. But good job. Good job. There's people like Satterfield to keep me right. So that that there is, that's the run through of the of the teams in the game. Now I can go back to the draw here and uh, and have another look at uh, at what might be happening. <laughs> so looking at it again from the top. Juhanians Amazons versus Duckies Lizardmen. I think after looking at the teams, definitely Ducky to go through there. Cyber Knight Brett versus Cyclops Dark Elves, definitely the Bretts. Could the Bretts challenge the Lizardmen? Not sure. I think I think Ducky wins the first four there. Then we've got uh, the Norse versus the High Elves. The Norse, both actually pretty nice teams. Uh, you know, the Norse could win just through attrition. And the Hyles are a pretty nice team. Uh, Andy Davo's got a nice Kislev team there. I think he should get definitely beat the Undead. But it's how much attrition he's going to take. And I think he should win whoever comes out there. So we, we could be looking at the quarterfinals. Ducky versus Andy Davo. And yeah, you, you've got to back Slan if they play Lizardmen. Maybe Ducky's Lizardmen have a... I mean, they've both got an easy route. They're, they're, they're pretty lucky. The top half of the draw, there's no claw pom, is there? Then we've got Underworld versus Vamps. Um... I think the Vamps will win that one. Uh, the the Woodies don't actually play now. It's Kemri. So the Kemri will go through. And Kemri could actually get turned over by Vampires. The Vampire seems very in, very efficient for its TV. So I, I wouldn't be surprised if the Vampires go through at the quarterfinals now. Colian's Dwarves, only 11 men. Could come unstuck against the Halflings. The Necros, I think, should handle the Amazons. And I think the Necros should actually handle the Dwarves as well. Or the Halflings. So it could be it could be necros versus vampires here, um, which obviously the necros you would you would fancy. I mean he was top of the ladder completely, so it could be necros, necros versus lizards or slan in the in the in the semi there. And but yeah, no claw palm in the top half of the draw. So that's a dream for everyone in the top half of the draw. You know it, it's it's much more much more unpredictable here. Um, but then down here, we've got Nurgle annihilating this goblin team. But maybe not, because he's only got 11 players. So so the, even that, it, it seemed like, you know, look at the TV, you would annihilate them. But maybe not. You never know what might happen. Chorfs versus Nurgle. I thought the Nurgle. Now I think the Chorfs. And I would I would fancy the Chorfs to actually go through to the uh, quarterfinals there from that, that little bunch of four. And... Uh, Miss Light's Chaos. Yeah, I do think the Elves look pretty good. The Elves will definitely beat the Orcs. I mean, I'm going to lose to these Orcs, almost certainly. And the Elves should be able to beat the Chaos. It's just how much damage are they going to take playing playing Chaos than Orcs. You know, they'll probably take so much damage that uh, actually Christopher's Chorfs should handle them. And the, and Christopher's Chorfs could be playing in this in the semi-final. They could be playing Valley Hoppier's Chorfs, couldn't they? Because well, though actually the Debase's Orcs could, could well handle them. They've only got one claw, Velahopia's Chorfs. Um, Woodies versus Skaven. I think whoever wins will lose to the Orcs or the Chorfs. And then the Dwarves should should win the bottom four bracket, I think, just by having the better team. Oh, no, the, the, actually, Wolfbark's Necros were pretty nice. Wolfbark's Necros could beat the Dwarves. The Necros could beat the Orcs or the Chorfs as well on the day where they've, they've got the claw active, haven't they? I might, I might, I might root for... I might root for... I'm not going to root for anyone. I'm being impartial here. Who do I fancy? I mean, this is all. There's so much damage as well. You've got no. You, it's really hard to predict the bottom half because you just don't know. You know, Pupok could win the coin toss, make three cas, and annihilate Crucifer's team, and stuff like this. So the, 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 all the clawpums on the bottom half of the draw, making it harder to uh, to predict. So, yeah, who knows? But it, it could be. It could be the year for Kislev. Who knows? 
Chaucer versus dwarves. <laughs> okay, so that's uh, that. That concludes it all, anyway. And uh, you can find out that link. Um, you can find. You can go on the internet and see that draw for yourself um, at challenge.com slash ccxi so the humans are right down at the bottom there number number 30 uh, well num game number 15 yeah team number 30 of the humans right thanks for watching if you enjoyed it don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic <laughs>